doing our in a comfortable seat so legs crossed or um, on your knees whatever's comfortable <clears throat> and just pulling your shoulder blades down and back keeping looking forward nice relax in your neck creating space between your ears and your shoulders and then making sure to maintain that space between your ears and your shoulders we're gonna go ahead and raise your arms up over your head squeezing that big beach ball and at the same time pulling your shoulder blades down and back staying relaxed with your neck even though your arms are up overhead squeezing that beach ball and a couple of big deep breaths here squeezing the ball tight creating energy in your arms while staying relaxed in your neck one more deep breath in And then as you exhale, we're gonna take your right hand onto your left knee and your left hand is just gonna twist back behind you and you'll look back over your left shoulder. And again, just trying to stay relaxed in your gaze, relaxed in your neck, even though we're turning to the side, getting that good twist. And again, a couple deep breaths here. One more big deep breath in. And as you exhale, we'll twist to the other side. So your left hand on your right knee, right hand back behind you. And again, your chin up, relaxing your gaze, looking over your right shoulder. Pulling your shoulder blades down. Keeping space between your ears and your shoulders. but really getting deep into that twist. One more deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna just uh, pull your hands all the way forward. So you'll be kind of like bowing forward as far as you can. You can go ahead and use your hands to like reach on to reach across the carpet and like pull yourself to the ground and so now you're getting a big stretch through like your chest and your back and we'll go ahead and walk your hands to the right as far as you can go trying to keep your butt on the ground and you can kind of like pull into the ground while at the same time like pushing the ground away in order to keep your butt down so you can kind of find a little bit of a balance between a push and pull tension with the floor. And again, trying to stay relaxed through your neck and pushing your butt into the ground while at the same time pulling the floor towards you with your hands. Big deep breath in. And as you exhale, we'll walk your hands to the left. Again, as far as you can go. <clears throat> Relaxing your head and neck. Pushing your butt into the ground. And pulling the floor towards you with your hands. One more big deep breath in. And exhale all the way out. And then we're gonna go ahead and come on up onto your hands and your knees. And from here we're gonna do some of our cat cow. So rounding your spine, pushing, rounding your shoulder blades, pushing the ground away creating space between the ground and your chest, squeezing your stomach so that you're pulling your tail under your hips, tucking your chin. I don't have a tail. 
<laughs> if you did, actually you do. It's just not like outside. It's just in your bones. <laughs> And then we'll go ahead and drop your chest to the, the ground, pulling your shoulder blades together. Now sticking your tail straight up. <laughs> Chin up as well. And again, it's okay to kind of rock side to side if you want, You're kind of stretching out your hips side to side or your wrists or your shoulders. And we'll go back to the cat. Spine right, pushing the ground away. And again, if you want to add a little rocking side to side, whatever feels good. And we'll go back to the cow. <laughs> Tail up, tummy down. And you can just kind of cycle back and forth through those a couple times. Hey, okay. There, I know they're ridiculous. Why do people even get dogs? I ask myself every day. But then I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we'll just kind of take a neutral spine. So nice and flat with your back. And uh, we're going to take that left knee and we're just going to make little circles pulling your heel up pulling your knee off to the side just little circles and then we'll go the other way these circles don't need to be too big today all right we'll go ahead and place that knee down and we'll go to the other side and so again just little circles and then we'll go back the other way. All right, and then we're going to take your, um, we'll go back to that same leg that we started on. So for me, it was my left side. And I'm gonna take and stick my left leg straight out. So it's coming kind of straight towards you. There's no bend in my knee, like this. And then from there, we're gonna just kind of take and sit back and lean forward. So you'll just kind of feel maybe a little stretch in all these different places as you kind of rock back and forth. And we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. And so again, sticking that leg straight out on the other side and then just rocking back and forth. Using your hands to kind of push yourself forward and back. And just really stretching out those hips. All right, and then we'll go ahead and take and turn it around, sitting on your butt. And we're gonna have, let's have your right leg stretched out straight, left leg um, bent with your foot up towards your thigh. And we'll kind of reach towards your foot that's stretched out, so my right foot. And then you'll lean back onto your butt a little bit, and as you lean back, you're gonna pull your right leg in towards your left thigh, and then straighten out your left leg, and then lean towards that foot. Yeah. And then we'll lean back again and then switch to the other side. And so we're just kind of rocking back and forth. So as you're leaning back is when you're switching. And as you lean forward, you'll switch which foot. And so this is kind of good mobilizing in your hips and stretching out your hamstrings. <clears throat> and as you're leaning back, you, know, you can use your hands. <clears throat> back behind you can help for some balance. And we'll just do maybe like two more per side.
And then we'll go all the way down onto your back. <clears throat> so you'll be laying on your back. Knees are gonna be up. And we're gonna do We're gonna do a little crunch so your arms will be up and you'll just reach up and then set your shoulder blades back down. So pulling your shoulder blades up off the ground, reaching for the ceiling with your arms and then back down. And we're gonna do those for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. And so again, almost like you've got that beach ball in your hands again and you're just trying to raise it straight up towards the ceiling by only lifting up your shoulder blades from the ground. So your arms stay straight, knees stay up, Great job. 10 more seconds of these. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Now you're gonna keep holding that beach ball and you're gonna extend one leg and then bring it back and extend the other leg. And again, just holding that beach ball up, kicking those legs, one and then the other. Good job. We're going to go for 15 more seconds of these. Three, two, one. Okay, keep holding that beach ball, knees up. Now we're going to go right arm back, left leg down, and then reset back to the middle. And then right leg back, left arm back. So left leg, right arm, move. And the other arm and leg just stay still. Don't let those arms and legs move. Two limbs straight, two limbs moving. 10 more seconds. Good old dead bugs. Ready and rest. Okay, now we'll rest. You can let go of that beach ball. <clears throat> and so we'll rest for another 20 seconds and we'll do it again. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Okay, bye. Bye, love you. Love you. Love you. Bye, Joel. Bye. See you next week. Yep. Ten more seconds to rest. Three, two, one. So knees up, beach ball. And go ahead and press that beach ball up to the ceiling. Just lifting your shoulder blades. Nice work. Three, two, one. We're gonna keep holding that beach ball and then extend right leg, then left leg, then right leg. Nice. Three, two, one. Now we're going to do arms and legs. Alternating right arm with left leg, left arm with right leg. Ten more seconds. Three. Two, one, rest. Nice work. We'll do it one more time after we're done resting for another 20 seconds. Ten seconds. All right, last time. Three, two, one. Knees up, beach ball, raise. Nice job. Three, 
two, one, keep holding the beach ball and we'll extend one leg and then the other leg. Kicking your heel down. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go arms and legs. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Yeah. Nice job. That was hard. Okay, we'll take a little rest. We're gonna keep hanging out on the floor for a little bit though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get some water. And so um, we will be just kind of hanging out on the floor again next. <clears throat> And so the next thing we'll be doing is a little bit of shoulder strength stuff. So we'll start in like a plank position and we'll do some of our mountain climbers where you're driving your knee up to your chest. And so what we're going to do is we're going to do 10 mountain climbers or like five per side. And then once you get to that last one, you're going to maintain this plank position and trying to like bend your elbows back towards your body, you're gonna just lower to the ground as slowly as you can. And then once you get here, you'll plant your knees on the ground and then just get yourself up using your knees. <clears throat> and then we'll go back up to that plank and do our mountain climbers. And again, 10, five per side. And then once you've done 10, we're gonna lower down as slowly as you can. And then using your knees on the ground to push back up. Yeah, nice. And we're gonna do this five times. So three more times. 10 of the mountain climbers. And then a nice, slow, lower down. Dropping the knees to push back up. All right, great. And we'll do it two more times. 10 mountain climbers. And then that lower down as slow as you can. Dropping the knees. Push it up. Great. One more time. 10 mountain climbers. And 10 lower down slowly as you can and then push it up and maybe take a second to like give your wrists a little break a little circles with your wrists maybe interlacing your fingers and doing a little figure eight stretching out your wrists because the mountain climbers and planks and stuff can be tough on your wrists <clears throat> And so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to stay down here a bit and we're going to do a plank on your forearms. So your forearms are going to be down and you'll be up on your toes in the back. You'll try to squeeze your hips up to keep them in line with your shoulders. We're going to hold for 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. Nice job. 
three, two, one. And we're gonna go ahead and drop your knees down. And then you're gonna take, put all your weight on your right elbow and your right knee and twist up to the sky with your left hand and your left leg. Nice, and then we'll switch to the other side. So now your left elbow comes down and your left knee stays down and we'll twist up on this side. And so now we're gonna do five of these per side or 10 total. So that's like four, five, six, and again, knee and elbow down on one side, heel and hand up on the other side. Maybe I've got one more per side and I lost count. <laughs> All right, and then again, we'll kind of rest a second. Shake out your shoulders. And the next little piece of our strength segment for today is gonna be an inchworm. So you can just kind of start in that plank since we're hanging out on the ground and then you'll tiptoe your hands back up to your feet and go ahead and stand up. And then we'll walk them back into that plank position. And we're gonna do five of these inchworms. So just plank to standing five times. And you can finish in the standing position because we'll be standing for the next part rather than planking. So we're gonna do one more inchworm. finish up standing and we're gonna finish our little strength segment with 20 jumping jacks Great job. And we'll come back down to the ground and we'll go back to the mountain climbers. And so, no, not you. And so again, it was 10 of the mountain climbers. Plus that very slow lower down. And then dropping your knees to push back up. And we're gonna do that five times. Ten mountain climbers. Lower down as slow as you can. Knees down. Push up. So that was two. Ten mountain climbers. Lower down. Knees down. Push up. That was three. So we'll do two more. Ten mountain climbers. Lower down. Knees down, push up. Last one. Ten mountain climbers. Lower down. Push up. Great work. Again, a little wrist stretch once you're done. And then we'll go into our forearm plank hold. And so again, we're gonna be on our forearms and we're gonna hold for 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. And once we're done with that 20 second hold, we'll go into the rotations, the T rotations. But first we're gonna hold in this plank 
really pressing the ground away with your elbows, spreading your shoulder blades apart. Pulling your belly button to the ceiling. Three, two, one. And then we're gonna drop your knees, right elbow down, left knee down. I'm sorry, right knee down, right elbow. And then left hand and left foot up. And we'll twist to the other side. And we'll do 10 of these or five per side. And then next it was the inchworms. So you can take a little breather if you want, or you can go right into the inchworm. And we'll do five inchworms. And as soon as you're done with your inchworms, you can do 20 jumping jacks. Great job, great job. And we'll take a little breather and we'll do another round. And get maybe your wrists need a little stretch. Do you feel ready to go into the next set? Yeah. yeah, okay. So again, it starts with 10 mountain climbers to the lower down. Eight, nine, ten. And then that nice slow lower down. And then you can drop the knees and press up. And again, we'll do this five times. Ten mountain climbers. Lower down. Knees down. Press up. Ten mountain climbs. Nice, slow. Lower down. Knees down to push up. We got two more. Ten mountain climber. Super duper slow on the way down. Ugh. <laughs> Knees down. Push up. Last one. Ten mountain climbers. Very slow. Lower down to the floor. <laughs> Drop those knees. Push up. And again, a little break if you want. And we're gonna do that 20 second plank hold next. And so we'll go ahead and put those elbows down, toes down, hips and shoulders in line. Ready, set, go. Great job, almost there. Three, two, one, and you can drop your knees. Right elbow, right knee down, left arm, left leg, scoop up to the ceiling. 
We'll do 10 of these. And then once you've done 10, we'll do five inchworms. And once you've done those five inchworms, it's right into 20 jumping jacks. Nice job, nice job. We're gonna do one more set. Do you wanna do one more set, you feel good? Sure. Seems like you're moving good still. That's Rock's call, I'm annoyed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, at first I thought you were playing music over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That sounds like such a good time. Just sunshine and golf, <laughs> handing out beers to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'll be so nice when we can come visit. Maybe next I winter. Know, I can't it. Yeah, I yeah, it's gonna be great. Okay, we'll do the last set. You ready? Starts with those yes. mountain climbers. Oh yeah, we don't need the stopwatch yet. So 10 mountain climbers to the lower down. And you can start whenever you're ready. 10 mountain climbers lower down very, very, very slowly. Knees down, press up. Do that five times. Slowly lower down. Knees down to press up. Two more. definitely starts to add up. Okay, and we'll do our four, forearm plank hold next. So plant those forearms, plant the toes. Ready, set, go. Really just thinking about your breath. Pulling your rib cage down to your hips, belly button to the ceiling. Three, two, one. We'll go ahead and drop those knees. Twist the left arm, left leg up. Switch to the other side. We'll do 10 of these.
And then it's right into those five inchworms. And as soon as you finish your inchworms, 20 jumping jacks. Nice job. Okay, so that was a little bit of like shoulder strength work. So the last little bit, we're gonna do like 10 minutes and we'll try to get our uh, heart rate elevated just a little bit for the last part. So we'll be doing bear crawls. So you know bear crawls? What'd you say? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely take care of anything like that. <laughs> but so we're going to have hands on the ground, hips in the air, and you're going to just kind of wander around. Yeah, you'll do a little bear crawl. You'll be a little baby bear wandering around. And so we're going to do that for 40 seconds. Yeah, yeah, just go ahead and keep going. We'll just start. Ready, set, go. And if you want to, you can go backwards a little bit if you want. <laughs> if you're really feeling the bear crawl. Nice job. We've got like 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. We'll rest. And so we're gonna rest for 20 seconds. And the next thing we're gonna do is those like side to side power punch. So you're gonna like pivot and punch, use your hips and everything. And we're gonna do as many as you can in 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. And so just trying to be powerful, punching as hard as you can but then switching to the other side as fast as you can because we're trying to cycle in as many as you can. And again, trying to use your hips, pivoting and getting your legs into it. Three, two, one. Now we're gonna go straight into, there's an invisible line to your right and you're gonna step over it with your left foot and then you're gonna step over it with your right foot. And then you're gonna step back over it, left foot first, then right foot. And you're just gonna keep stepping over it, back and forth. And you're going to step over as many times as you can in the next 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. And so we're going to go back to the bear crawl and then we'll just keep repeating all of this for four more rounds. Three, two, one. Baby bear. I don't know. I like to think of a little baby bear. Maybe you want to be a grandpa bear, but <laughs> any bears are good. I like to do a little forward, a little backward. But we're going to do 20 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work, we'll rest like 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna go into our side to side 
power punch. Three, two, one, go. And remember, try to do as many as you can. But still punching as hard as you can. Three, two, one. Now switching to that side to side step as many as you can. Three, two, one, rest. And then it's gonna be back to our bear crawl. Three, two, one, go. Two, one, rest. And we'll go to our punches next. Three, two, one, go. Stepping over, stepping back as many times as you can. Nice job, yes, nice. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. We're gonna do two more times through. Three, two, one, time to be a bear. One, rest, and we're gonna punch next. Three, two, one, go, punch, punch. set. In three, two, one, bear crawl, last bear crawl. 
bra. Make sure you cover all the bear crawl ground that you want in this last round. Steps, get as many as you can. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. And you can have a seat if you want. And I like to do this. Right leg kind of crossed over left leg stretch. You can like push that knee towards the ground and get a little stretch there. You can even take this left leg and like bend it and that'll pull this leg towards you a little bit more and that might feel good. Just kind of trying to get a stretch through this leg here, through this hip. Nice job, we did a lot. We were moving fast. Yeah, your sunny window. Oh yeah, I keep getting my room all set up. We could switch legs on the stretch. You got anything good going on today? No. It's a good relaxing day. That's perfect. Yeah. So was that hard? Was that workout hard? 